powerful, stylish, and yes, once again, very affordable, Google's flagship phone of the season is finally here. Hello everybody, I'm Lin Lop from CNET, and today we're going to check out the unlocked Nexus 5. At 4.95 inches, the 5 has the biggest screen of all past Nexus handsets. The display features 445 pixels per inch, and like the Samsung Galaxy S4 and HTC One, it has a 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution. Images and videos are bright and vivid and look razor sharp. Now even though the display is bigger, the device is still comfortable to hold and pocketable. In fact, it's actually thinner and lighter than the previous Nexus 4. The phone comes in two colors, black and white, and features a smooth matte soft touch coating. I personally prefer this over last year's design, since that model's glass back panel fractured quite easily. Inside this handset is a powerful 2.26 GHz Snapdragon 800 processor from Qualcomm. This is the same blazingly fast CPU featured in the LG G2. With this processor, the Nexus 5 is a beast of a handset, especially when you consider that both the GS4 and the HTC One are speed demons themselves and run Snapdragon 600 processors. The 5 also has a non-removable 2.3 ampere hour battery, which yields a reported talk time of up to 17 hours with data turned on. Now one issue the previous Nexus 4 had was that it didn't feature LTE support. This wasn't quite a big deal in other countries, but for US consumers, LTE is more widespread. When it comes to highly anticipated top tier phones at least, LTE is a standard, so the lack of it was a letdown. With the Nexus 5, however, it's great to see that it does support LTE bands. It will work on AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint's networks, but unfortunately, Verizon users are left out from the Nexus party. As a Google-branded device, the handset will get OS updates as they roll in. And not surprisingly, it runs the latest mobile OS, Android 4.4 KitKat. KitKat comes with a number of new features. You can move entire home screens now, and there's a deeper, more seamless integration with Google Voice Search. OK, Google, what's today's weather? Today's forecast for San Francisco is 20 degrees and clear. You can also search and directly call from the dialer businesses or companies not in your contact list. Google also brings new features to the handset's cameras, which, by the way, include an 8 and 1.3 megapixel shooter. For instance, it has optical image stabilization, which cuts down motion blur that may result from an unsteady hand. And there's HDR+, which fuses together several exposures and shots to make one ideal picture. Additional features include 2 gigs of RAM, wireless charging, and NFC. Despite having all these components though, the Nexus 5 is still very affordable. The 16 and 32 gig models cost $349 and $399 respectively. For an unlocked phone of this caliber, that's an incredibly competitive price point. Not only would Android purists find this attractive, but just anyone looking for a solid handset as well. Again, I'm Lynn, and you've been checking out the Nexus 5 from Google.